When I first learned about the TBLS anterior and the TBLS posterior, I learned of their arrangements in the sagittal plane. I learned that the TBLS anterior, being the anterior compartment, would shorten and lift up the toes and lift up the foot into dorsiflexion. By comparison, I learned that the TBLS posterior was on the posterior compartment deep to the other calf muscles and as such it would shorten and produce plantar flexion and because of that these two muscles were ascribed an antagonistic relationship. But here's my question. What happens if we consider these two muscles in another plane of motion? If we consider the frontal plane we would see that both of these muscles come out of fascia on the proximal lateral aspect of the leg, one in front and one in the back. They travel across the midline of the leg into the foot and have their influence on fascia on the medial aspect of the foot. So if they arise here and end up here, if my foot begins to collapse into pronation, both of those muscles will actually lengthen at the same time to load and decelerate the effects of gravity and ground. It is these types of relationships, and if we learn the anatomy in these relationships, then we understand the synergies of the body and how the body functions so that we can properly learn how the anatomy serves that function.